It's Deadpool teamed up with a foul-mouthed, gun-toting raccoon. Okay, I'm excited. Welcome to the Complete Story Series, we take trade paperbacks and single issues and we break them down into digestible bites to help you understand, then we read it dramatically back to you. All alterations to the panel's text and images are to prevent copyright problems and all art is owned by its respective companies. Deep in the secret underground weapons cache somewhere in Colorado, Rocket Raccoon is jumping on a big blue furry monster ready to stab it, and the monster turns around. Hey, what? A small angry bear? Rocket sees Deadpool and he pauses. Deadpool? To which Deadpool kicks him away. You got that right, now the question is, do I know you or did I pass out on a pile of Ranger Rick Magazine? Zines again. Name's Rocket. We hang out in similar circles. But I gotta admit, if it wasn't for the fact Drax killers are telepathic and recognize each other by braid waves, using the skin of one of them would have been a good disguise. <laughs> yeah, a disguise. Swear to me. Deadpool kicks his skin aside. So I guess you were gonna put the herd on Macho Gomez before the Drax killers arrived? Yep. I put out a call to all of the intergalactic bounty hunters, including Macho, but I didn't invite any Drax killers. What's a Drax killer, by the way? That's when Macho Gomez comes on over the comms. You guys think you're so clever. Well, joke's on you, dragging me out of here and trying to sick a bunch of mercs on me. I had a bunch of space bat eggs in the Macho Bike's engines and needed to stop. So, they've hatched, and I'm trapped in this tiny room. If you come and rescue me, I'll spare your friend Oob. Aw, Oob, what are you doing in there? Aw, oh, jeez, Wade. I had to. Oxco was telling me that I wasn't the man that her ex-macho was. I thought if I took your invite and smacked him around a little, we'd get the heat back in the sheets. Then, some bounty hunters open fire on Rocket and Deadpool. Bubba Fett! Deadpool shouts as he pulls out his swords and leaps in fighting. They blow back Rocket right away, and while he's trying to recover, Deadpool begins dodging and dropping the bounty hunters until Rocket gets up, loads his gun, and melts them. Deadpool looks at him. Damn! You are one mean little shirt tail. Yeah, well, cheap and stupid mercs tick me off, but the Drax killers are smart. We'll need a plan. Yeah, I'm not much of a plan guy. I'm more of the poo than the piglet. Ah, oh, flock me. The Drax killers begin to approach our two heroes, chanting mentally, We hunger, we hunger. And Deadpool grabs Rocket's tail as Rocket makes a break for it. Don't touch my tail! How else am I gonna yell, Run, Rocket, run! They run through the building, and Deadpool explains that this location is a weapons cache of his bestest buddy, Cable. Walk through this door, and it'll be a gungasm! That's when Deadpool realizes he made a teeny mistake. This room is Cable's wardrobe. Rocket shuts the door, realizing that they made a mistake, and the Drax killers begin to get closer and closer. Deadpool begins to panic. He's trying to remember where Cable left the body slide teleporter, but he can't. Rocket grabs him and pulls him into the next room where the guns are. Turns out they were really close to the guns. Deadpool is speechless at the firepower that they have, but Rocket knows what to say. Say hi to your moms for me, and they open fire with Cable's gun collection. As they're shooting up the Drax killers, Rocket begins spouting off orders. Go over here, move this way, move that way, and Deadpool can't take it. I can't stand it anymore! It's like having my GPS set to the Alvin and the Chipmunks channel. Voice, orders, tactics, strategy. Man, you're cramping my style. Rocket is stunned. No plan of attack, a shoddy sliver of revenge that went to hell in no time. Why did you even do this, Deadpool? Because I was bored, okay? They canceled all my soaps. Rocket throws the gun to the ground. You are on your own. I am out of here. Yeah, well, why are you here? Because Macho agreed to help me clear my name a few months back and then he sold me out for some gems. And while they are arguing, they find themselves standing in the guts of some Drax killers. And then Macho steps up behind them, punching them both, calling them predictable. I didn't come here for a job. I came to get rid of all of the competition in one place. He then throws Deadpool into the next room where Wade sees his friend Oob. And Oob reminds Deadpool where the body slide teleporter is. Over with Rocket, Macho has him and is prepared to kill him until Wade teleports him away. Then, Deadpool waves to Macho as he he teleports Rocket himself and Oob out of the building and watches it explode. He then looks to Rocket. Not a plan, tactic, or strategy in the house. Who wins? Cable then teleports in yelling, What did you do to my Colorado cash? Hey, I know it looks bad, but I can make it up to you. I hear that you're struggling in the sales charts. Aw, oh, jeez, not this fourth wall crap again. And then Deadpool points to Rocket. How about a crossover with this guy? He's got a big movie and a fragrance. Rocket ignores him, and he takes Oob, and they leave, leaving Cable with Deadpool. You know, Cable, you might drag me down. Maybe I can book you a Squirrel Girl. And that is a fun little team-up of Rocket Raccoon and Deadpool. This took place in the Guardians team-up comic book, which has eight issues, and personally, I loved every issue of it. So go ahead and check it out. I'm Benny the Comic Storian. Follow us on Twitter at Comic Storian, Instagram at Comic Storian, and if you want to check out some gaming videos, go check out our gaming channel, Eligible Monster Gaming. I'll see you next time right here.